Yo, what is up guys? Fear Swifty here. And today's gameplay is going to be pretty crazy gameplay in my opinion. It's a 44 Magnum cam with the ACOG sight. And um, I got this on the map Octane. And I got it in May. It was pretty, a pretty slow gameplay. It was like 5.5 minutes or something. But you can't really blame me because it's a 44 Magnum. What you can do run around with a Magnum and try to get a cam just like that. It's really not that easy. And even like when you're camping, it, it, it's not the easiest thing because this gun takes a lot of accuracy, especially like since um with the Magnum in this game, um every time you shoot a bullet, it does like a bolt kind of thing. You like bolt your bullet, whatever it's called. I forgot what the term is, but that makes it harder to like shoot a lot of bullets right away. So you can't really spray with this gun. You gotta get your shots on, or you you just aren't gonna succeed with this gun. It's a pretty hard gun to use. It's honestly probably the hardest gun to use in the whole game, honestly. But honestly, if you give this gun to someone with the right hands, this gun can be amazing at times. Especially in hardcore. And, um, actually, in case you guys didn't know this, in core, this gun is actually a one-shot kill. But at, like, really close range. I think it's, like, five feet or something. So it's not too overpowered, I guess, in core. Although it can be with, like, a Kimbo. Because a lot of people actually use a Kimbo on this gun. And it's very overpowered with a Kimbo. And in Hardcore, um, I honestly believe it's impossible to get a hit marker with this gun. Unless you, like, get a wall bang. Because there have been literally so many times that, are, like, I was playing on Stonehaven. And I would get, like, a one-shot on, like, some sniper on all the way across the whole map. I'd be on one end of the map and there'd be, like, a sniper on the other end. And I beat him in a gunfight. And I don't even get a hit marker. Like, this gun is just amazing in Hardcore. It's insane. And like when you have ACOG on it, this thing is literally like a sniper rifle. Like you're just when you use ACOG on this in hardcore, you're basically just sniping with a pistol. It's just so overpowered. As long as you know how to use the gun and you have good enough accuracy. And if you are gonna use this gun and try to go for a cam with it, I highly recommend to use in hardcore. A class setup I like to recommend is um for your attachment you should use ACOG. It makes it a lot easier for the like longer range kills. And plus there isn't really too many good attachments on this gun. Like there's no emag, and you don't want to use a Kimbo because um that's only good for like close range. Like medium and long range, you're not gonna hit your shots with a Kimbo, obviously. And by the way, the class I'm gonna recommend this is just for hardcore, and I'm only doing a recommendation for hardcore because um this gun isn't the best in core. It, it can be pretty good, but it's way better in hardcore, and it's a lot easier to get a Kim with it in hardcore too. And um, the perks I like to recommend is quick shot, and that's because since it's hardcore, you want to get to your first shot because it takes only one shot to kill. And plus, this gun takes a lot of accuracy, so you want to be EDS right away so you have more time to aim. And ready up for the same reason. And scavenger, because um, obviously if you're going for a cam, you're going to need a lot of bullets. Since this gun takes a lot of accuracy, you might miss a lot, so scavenger is going to be very helpful if you're going for a cam, obviously. And um. Amplify just so you can hear people's footsteps easier and wiretap and um, In case you don't know what that is It basically allows you to use the enemy's team satcoms as yours So like let's say if your teammate has a satcom up and some guy on the enemy team has a satcom up That counts as two satcoms up for yourself instead of one and this only works for yourself and not your team by the way and the kill streaks I like to recommend is um Support streaks, and that's because it's hardcore, so hard uh, support streaks on hardcore is the best things to use. Way better than specialists. Plus, since you're using a magnum and it's not the best gun in the game, um, you're not going to be going much kill streaks with it, so specialist isn't the greatest. And plus, these support streaks will help you a lot with getting on a kill streak, so that's why I like to use them. And uh, I like to recommend SATCOM because it's hardcore. And SATCOM is probably like one of the best kill streaks in hardcore, honestly. It's not that great in core, but in hardcore it's very good. Because it obviously gives you a mini map, because you don't have one without a sack come up. And B vest, because um, obviously you want more health since you die in one shot. So instead of dying in one shot, you could die in like two or three shots, whatever it is. And the Oracle's pretty good, because um, since you don't have a mini map, um, it can help out a lot. Because obviously, if you don't have a mini map, it's harder to tell where people are. And with the Oracle, it just makes it so much easier. And that's basically my class setup that I like to recommend for this. And um, also, one recommendation with this gun is that um, if you're at like medium to long range, try not to spray with this gun because the recoil is kind of bad. 
just try to take your time with this gun when you aim and just make your shots count because you don't want to miss or else you're just dead basically and also just before I did this commentary I um, searched on YouTube how many magnum chem series I actually only saw four so it's kind of crazy that I got one and now this is the fifth one on YouTube um, there might be more, I'm not sure, but this is just the fifth one on YouTube so far, so, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, it's a pretty crazy gameplay in my opinion, so, I feel like it deserves a like, and, um, subscribe if you aren't already, follow me on Twitter and Twitch and whatever, and my links will be in the description, and that is all, so peace out guys. Securing Bravo. Friendly Oracle overhead. I'm ready. Friendly sat bomb active. <laughs> Friendly cam strike incoming.